Hello everyone and happy Friday! I could not be more excited and happy and cheerful to be with you this Friday evening here in Romania. I don't know which part of the day is it where you are, but it is almost 8.30 p.m. Romania time, but I wanted to take a minute before and reintroduce myself to people that may be see me for the first time. My name is Roxana Popet. I'm a transformational speaker and an NLP trainer. Thank you for joining, Sorin. Hello. I am specialized in fear. I work with people that have fears and I have created the step on your fears concept, which is a visualizing efficient and lasting and really simple exercise that helps you to unblock your mind to keep your thoughts under your control only and the reason why i do these interactive live talks each and every friday evening at 8 30 pm romania time is because I want to share with you my knowledge, my experiences, and I want to have this interactive exchange between us, a dialogue, so that you can share your great input and experiences as well, and also to let me know what questions you have. What are your worries about fears? How do you deal with fear? Do you have any specific... Um, patterns that you use, maybe some procedures that are maybe different from what I do and I would love to learn from you and I think that this win-win situation that I have for you in this Step on Your Fears group here on Facebook is to have us all improve our lifestyles, our lifestyles be happier and look towards the future with far more interest, hope and happiness. And today's great talk is about fear and happiness and I could not be more excited to ask you these two questions before I start talking more and more. First of all, what is happiness to you? And second of all, does your happiness depend on anyone or on anything else besides yourself? Let me know in the comments box. I am more than happy and very eager to be seeing your feedback. Your great input is so much welcomed here because it is going to be this very great exchange interactive dialogue between us that can only benefit us all as I said earlier. So what about happiness? What is it with happiness that everyone wants to achieve it? We all mainly run, we run after it, we chase it. And it seems that it is sometimes outside of us. I have recently seen a webinar from T. Harv Ecker. You may have heard of him. He is one of the most amazing financial speakers and trainers in the world. And he said some fantastic things about happiness that have completely shifted my mindset about this. And I have decided after hearing what he said, and I'm going to send you the link as well, I'll put it in the description of this video, both on YouTube and on uh, Instagram, on Facebook and on Twitter as well, and on LinkedIn, because I'm, I'm everywhere, just to see how he explains why happiness is not only an inside job, something that you do with yourself, for yourself, but it's also not depending on anything else. It doesn't matter if you have your objectives accomplished, if you look the way you have always wanted to look, if you have the family that you dreamed of, the financial situation, the money mindset, the businesses, the cars, the houses. It has nothing to do with any of the material things that you have. And I kind of get goosebumps when I think of this because I thought in my mind that if I have 
a certain material good or if I look in a certain way, if I have an amazing mindset on personal development, I will be happy one day. So I want it to be happy. It would be projected in the future one day, not necessarily um, an exact future, unfortunately, because I would continue chase it. I would get what I wanted, but gah, I still want more. I still want more. So yeah, I still need to get that one more thing and then I'll be happy. And it is wrong. It is so wrong on all levels. Unfortunately, we do not know that if we do not change the way that we think, we are not going to get this happiness that we are chasing for. So it is mainly about how you think. Happiness is about how you think. Think it's not about anything else. It's not dependent on freedom, on finances, on your houses, on cars, on any success, on your careers. And it, it was mind-blowing to me because when you get to fully understand this 100% in your being, you get this life mission completely changed and you start wondering I have been making myself unhappy for far too long and it's time to change the way that you think. And T. Harvecker provided some great examples that if you don't train your mind to think in a positive, happy way right now, you are never going to achieve that happiness in the future, that one day happiness, because it is like doing sports. And this is my example. I used to always want to have a fit, tight body. And especially I, I love to have my abs very, very well worked out. And after years of trying all sorts of strategies and eating all sorts of foods, I discovered that I need to train more, not only with my body, with what I eat, but with my mindset as well. To keep this positive mindset of continually wanting to work out, to do more and more until I get what I want. And it's the same with getting your mindset to be happy, to think happy thoughts. I know it sounds... It is easier said than done, I know, and I still have not reached that happiness level 100% because it's only three weeks since I listened to T. Harvecker's seminar and I keep listening to it. It's an ongoing background, <laughs> background noise for me because I still hear new things and each and every time I listen to it. It's a two-hour seminar, a webinar, and you are going to love it. And I, I, I honestly recommend you listen to it because it is going to change the way that you think about happiness completely. Now, I want you to let me know in the comments box, even after we finish this live session, what is happiness to you? The first question and the second question does it depend on anything or on anyone else besides yourself? Again, it was like um, thunderstruck to me when I heard that no, happiness does not depend on anything else. Fun is fun. Freedom is freedom. Fun and freedom are not happiness. Now, let's go to how we think. Let's see which is the trigger that gets us into having our mindset go in the opposite way than the one we would want to in order to keep our mind under our control. Is it the people around us? 
maybe it's the environment maybe it is the job maybe the people that we work with have this negative attitude that kind of make us not want to go there anymore maybe it's the financial situation maybe it's this dreaded virus the covid that seems to be never ending it's not ending too soon unfortunately not in the following two or three months and all of this combined get you to be unhappy right well yes at a first view at a first glance yes this things combined because we are emotional creatures and this is a good way <laughs> a good thing and it's also a bad thing in a way but it's a bad thing until you learn how to keep your mind under your control now instead of seeing all of these problems the solution is to focus on solutions right to see the best you can get out of this circumstance that is making you unhappy and it is again easier said than done but with the proper training you can get your mind under your control and i have this wonderful technique actually i have two techniques and i want to share with you the first one and it's about having a journal a pen and paper and i i forgot to have them here with me so that i can show you i love to write a lot this introspection helps so much with clarifying your thoughts it's like cleaning your closet every time you put things on paper you see it black on white something magic happens you get to see whether the thing that you put down there is really an issue anymore and if it is as your mind begins to have clarity as you have everything ordered and structured down on that piece of paper the magical piece of paper and the pen you are going to see how you get your mind focused on solutions only and it is such a relief especially that we may get maybe um, more than fearful we get this anxiety sometimes because we lose this present moment we are not in the present anymore we're either stuck in the past thinking of what happened thinking of all sorts of regrets things that we may have not done properly or that we may have not done at all and we are maybe in the future we think about so many situations we are hollywood creating uh, scenarios directors that would have this golden globes maybe for all sorts of negative dramas that we create in our minds so it's very difficult nowadays and it happens to me as well to be in the present moment most of the times in 99 percent of the times the fears that we have in our mind are not going to happen it's a waste of time but why do we still spend so much time thinking about them because we know we know that a potential situation is potential it may not ever happen however if you use this journaling this introspection procedure process as i call it it does wonders for you and you get clarity you get your mind very well organized because you get aware that there are certain things that you do not need to do anymore there are things that actually prevent you from being more productive and i want you to try this and let me know in the comments box how is it going for you simply when you feel overwhelmed get this journal in front of you and write down a few words and see how you get the tension releasing from your body and most especially <laughs> from your mind because here is where all the music where all the wonderful things happen right now the second thing i want you to try out i want you to test out the seven step guide to permanently conquer your fears 
This is a visualizing exercise that I have created for you. A busy person that once changed yesterday, that doesn't have patience for too many processes and procedures to be put in place to get his or her mind under their control. You can find this on my website, roxanapopet.com. And this visualizing, easy, simple, efficient exercise is what you need to train your mind. This exercise is actually a metaphor that I used for you to understand how easy it is, how easy it actually is. And once you get the hang of it, you will see, because as your mind is not material, you cannot touch it. There's nothing there. It's only a cloud. <laughs> I like to call it a cloud because we do use a lot of clouds nowadays to stock files and photos and all sorts of documents. So this cloud, can be shaped, reshaped, shifted, turned every way you want to. That is how easy your mind works when you get the right tool. So I honestly recommend you get this wonderful, easy to put in practice visualizing exercise from the seven step guide to permanently conquer your fears on my website, roxanapopet.com. You will enjoy it and do let me know in the comments box how it is working for you. I look forward to seeing your great results there. Now, coming back to fear and happiness. Does fear keep us away from being happy? What do you think? Let me know what do you think in the comments box and I'll be more than happy to have this great interactive talk with you because since we're here, since it's a live talk and everyone is welcome, why not share our experiences? Why not share our knowledge and our feedback for each other? Because I am pretty sure that we are going to learn so much more as we focus as a community to find the best solutions. I believe that fear cannot be completely removed from our mindset. It's about seeing it from a different perspective. You can turn to the left, turn to the right, and this is what the great tools, the right tools help you do. So as a small recap for today, are you going to put in practice the journaling, the introspection method, procedure that I have been telling you about whenever you feel that you are overwhelmed? Because overwhelming does prevent you from being happy. And you know what? Being happy is something that only you know what is exactly for you. What is it exactly that makes you happy? Does it thinking of yourself as a very, very developed person, as someone that is constantly evolving, or maybe you are very keen to be starting something new and that excites you even more. And since we are talking about this, it is wonderful to have all sorts of objectives. We are creatures that need to continually evolve and to have surprises and unknowns in our life. However, and let me know what you think about this. Society has taught us that you need to be unsatisfied and unhappy in order to continually evolve, in order to want more objectives. And you may say, well, Roxana, you say some very nice words, but if I'm happy with what I have now, if I settle with everything that I have, where's my ambition? Where's my drive? How am I going to evolve? How am I going to know if I don't do these things, then why am I doing these objectives anymore? It just doesn't make sense in my mind. Now, let me tell you something. Society has taught us that you need to be continually struggling. You need to continually be wanting something, wanting a new objective, wanting a new car, wanting a new house, wanting a plane, an island. I don't know what your dreams are. 
But what if, and think about this, what if you can have it all? Have these desires and objectives, the need to do more, the need to have more, but from a peaceful, happy, quiet place inside of you. And then you can also go towards your objectives. You don't need to be unhappy. You don't need to be struggling. You don't need to be sad, unfulfilled, unsatisfied in order to get what you want. Now, this T. Harvecker webinar has really shifted my mind and I have a feeling that you are going to love it as well. I'll be posting the link in the descriptions on all social media because you need to hear this. You need to put this in practice. So once again, before I go, check this technique, this very easy technique with journaling. A piece of paper and a pen are always welcome and you can have this wonderful relieving feeling of liberating your mind, your spirit from all the worries. Put everything that you no longer want to have in your mind down on a piece of paper and you are going to be amazed of how amazing you are going to feel afterwards. And as well, I recommend you try out my great, wonderful, and I'm not modest at all. It's a wonderful, easy exercise. The one from the seven step guide to permanently conquer your fears, this visualizing exercise that is going to shape and reshape the way that you see things in your mind from now on. Go download it. It's a gift from me to you. You'll find it on my website, roxanabopet.com. And before I go, I still want to have you ponder about these two questions. What is happiness to you? And does it depend on anything or on anyone else besides yourself? As T. Harvecker said, happiness is the way that you think I wish you happy thoughts, especially that a weekend is coming and I have a hunch that you are going to put in practice what I told you today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here with me as every Friday. I'm here to serve you, to guide you. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you once again. Have an awesome weekend and I will see you soon. Bye.